long time no youtube i have to talk kind of quiet because it's like midnight 12 58 people are sleeping in my house so i just want to do a quick unboxing of my color pop haul um i got it today and i honestly forgot that it was even coming because i was so busy with finals and stuff like that but I finished yesterday and I'm so glad. Yeah, I was like, I also took a nap and I ate a bunch of like Takis and Sour Patch Kids and <laughs> pineapple and like junk food. So I'm looking a little rough and it's very hot in this room also, but we're gonna push through because I really wanna do this and I haven't filmed a video for YouTube in so long. I've been doing like, I started TikToks and go follow me on TikTok at Maddie Lee 4. I might change my username though, so we'll see. But yeah, this haul is from the last call sale. Um, I think not not everything is, but most of it is because they were doing a sale of like a bunch of random products um, that I guess like they're never gonna restock. So it was really cheap. It was like up to 80% off. So I'm like, Gotta jump on that. So yeah, the first thing actually I think was a free sample, which is the Act Natural Defining Mascara, which I'll just open it and show you, but I'm probably gonna give this to my mom. It's just like that. It's like a pretty thick brush and it smells pretty strong actually, um, but I like the bottle. I mean the packaging. So the next thing is this cream gel pencil. All of these products are going to be like really random because I just wanted to buy stuff from the sale. I wasn't like looking for anything specific, but this is the pencil. It's in the color what? <laughs> Crochet. And it looks a lot like the one that I use now, but I can always use another one. These the pencils and stuff were like really cheap, so also, I don't know if all the pencils do this from ColourPop, but like the caps never stay on so you can't like put it in a bag or anything because it doesn't stay on. I'm actually going to put this on because my lip color faded from earlier, so. So my thoughts are that I like it, but it's definitely not something I would wear every day. I really like, I've never had like a shimmery lip liner, so that's fun. I don't remember what I ordered, so... The things that I try, I'm just gonna like go along with it. I don't- Okay, so this is the like lip oil, the Luxe lip oil in the shade Hay with three Ys. I've never tried their lip oil, so this is a lot of like new- Oh, this is very pretty. Oh, I don't usually wear like super bright lip colors, um, nor do I wear like purpley shades of pink but i really i really like this i feel like this is kind of pointless since they're not going to restock it but i'm sure there's still stuff left in the sale but that you can probably get but this is more just like a trying testing products video it's not really to promote them but like yeah this is for shadow sticks in riviera cruisin i just really liked the packaging of this i love like the vintage fruity it reminds me of like Lana Del Rey or something and yeah so we're just gonna so we have cool breeze citrus squeeze check please and style and ease oh I felt like Dr. Seuss right there but um yeah so ooh, this reminds me of like bathtub um crayons <laughs> if anyone had those too ooh that is quite Right, it literally looks like a crayon. I'm guessing this is check please. But, oh yeah. And then the first one was style and ease. Ooh, that's really pretty. I want to try using more cream shadows because um, I just feel like it's more vibrant and I like using like glitters and stuff to enhance the look because I don't really go out. <laughs> I just use like makeup to take pics so I usually need like pretty vibrant makeup oh yeah also I dyed my hair I don't know if, if you follow me on Instagram you would have seen this like way long time ago it was red when I dyed it with like pink and purple at the ends but now it's just like pink and purple I'm gonna bleach this soon once it fades a little more but this one is taking a while this is cool breeze though and it's a metallic shade 
The first two were mattes. This is like a gold. Ooh, I love this. I think this would be really good for like gold looks um, on the inner corner and stuff. Or like on the center of the lid. Even maybe as a lip color. And this is Citrus Squeeze, which is a metallic as well. I don't know if you saw that, but it's it's very similar to, what is it, Cool Breeze. It's just like darker and more bronze. The next thing we're going to do is the Jelly Much, Much? Jelly Much? Oh, like Jelly Much. Oh my gosh, am I old? Jelly, <laughs> Jelly Much Shadow. Um, I was really excited for these because I really love the packaging. Um, it reminds me of my time living in the desert. Well, I still live in the desert, but like, well, I guess I'm pretty deep in the desert, but like middle of nowhere desert, like cacti in your front yard kind of desert. Look at how cute. So this shade is in Saguaro, which is very reminiscent of my childhood. That looks messy. Look at that. It's so bright orange. I'm just gonna like scrape the top off. This looks like the shade from my orange, the orange palette from ColourPop. It has a shade like this. This is like the cream version. Oh my gosh. I don't know if, you, I can't tell if it shows up focus. I can tell this is gonna stay very well. Um, just like from this, you can't like rub it off that much. Like you can rub off some shimmer, but the pigment stays and that was really surprising. I get so surprised when like cream shadows or cream products can stay so well. Better than powder, honestly. This is also an exciting one. Um, I feel like my lips, my lip color is bleeding. This is the Press Glitter Rainbow Sprinkles palette. I wanted some new glitters and these look perfect. So the shades are Sugar Ice, Sugar Ice, Yas Please, Candy coated and malt melt. Okay, sorry, there was some technical difficulties. Um, but yeah, back to this amazing palette. But ooh, these are so pretty. It's like slightly holographic. So this is like the basic. Oh my gosh, my hand is so pale that you can't even see that. <laughs> but basically, it looks like how it is in the palette so it's like very sturdy packaging too it has like some resistance when you open and close it and i love how it's clear so you can see everything next thing is a liquid liner bff liquid liner um i think this is the shade chili which i'm very excited because even though my hair is not that red i can fake it on instagram i'm pretty sure um with certain filters it is freaking red liquid liner like <sighs> oh my gosh i'm so excited i've been like loving buying makeup over quarantine because it's like i can do so many looks and like no one's gonna see me unless i post it so i can like do all these trial and error things but okay here we have another liquid liner and this one is skinnier i mean it's pretty same actually yeah, it's a little bit skinnier, but this is just the classic black, and I got this just because I was running out. Um, I just decided, like, why not? This looks pretty good. It looks like the one I have now. The one I use now is by NYX, and it's also, like, a tip like that, but it has been leaking lately. Like, it's been really hard to open, for first of all, and when I do, it, like, it, like, gathers product at the end. And it starts to like bubble it's really gross and like it gets all over my hands and i'm scared that it's gonna like drip into my eyes so and i will look like billy eilish so now we're gonna get into the fragrance oils this one is sea bloom these were like five dollars i think and i just wanted to try it because i'm like i never i haven't had a new fragrance in a long time so yeah this is it looks green which is kind of disturbing but let's just see is it even coming out? Ooh. okay i'm gonna let this sit a little bit before i decide my final verdict but it smells pretty good like it's pretty light florally i want to say it's gardenia but i'm not sure because i'm not good with um 
flower smells but yeah i'm gonna let it sit a little bit um, we're gonna do another jelly shadow and i should have done these in like order or something but honestly i'm not in order so this is not gonna be in order this shade is called dessert desert days i thought there were two s's don't come after me <sighs> With ColourPop, I like always want to keep their packaging, but it would take up so much space. Watch me keep it anyway. <gasps> oh my gosh. <laughs> Gonna do a little swatchy. I'm running out of space on my body. Look at her. She's very pretty. But now we're going to swatch this yellow gel liner, a cream gel liner, in the shade, um, I think it's crossed without, it's like C-R-S-S-D, but I'm not sure if that's the shade, but anyway. Well, I'm very pale, so it doesn't show up very well on me in camera, but basically, that's what it looks like, and I'm very excited for this as well, because I've been really into the combo of black and yellow, and... I want to try more neon, more like minimalistic makeup looks that also have a pop of color. Like, you know when girls do like, or people, you know when people do like the liner, like just regular black liner with like no eyeshadow and then they do like a colored liner along with it. I love that. But this is going to be, ooh, an ultra glossy lip called snow day oh, i think i know what this is i didn't know i ordered this is just a surprise it's like a mystery box honestly oh my gosh i'm excited Ooh, it smells like winter lip smackers Ooh, i'll just swatch her right here it's just a clear shimmer because can you even see it's right there. Um, I just wanted like kind of a more translucent gloss. I feel like all the glosses I have are very bright. So I need to like tone it down sometimes, you know? Sometimes I need some serenity in my makeup as well as my life. Second fragrance oil. I'm very excited for this. So let's go back to the Sea Bloom or whatever. It smells pretty same as it was before. It kind of gives me like old teacher vibes, um, but also I kind of like it. Like it's kind of comforting and it reminds me of something. But anyway, this one's, this one's, this, this one is just rose. Pretty sure I'm gonna know what this smells like, but ooh, I love this one. Is this gonna be my new favorite? Oh no, and it's gonna be discontinued. Um, hopefully they bring this back because this legitimately smells like honey in a bottle. Like, okay. Oh my gosh. I wasn't expecting this. I was gonna give it to my mom, but I think I'm gonna just keep it for myself. <laughs> because her favorite scent is rose, and I was like, oh, I might as well just get it for her. But then I didn't know I was gonna like it that much. And it also doesn't smell like rose, so I don't know if she would even like it. This is a pressed powder shadow. I don't remember buying this. Um, it's in the shade Charge It. I guess this is just a single shadow. I never got this before, but um, I never got a single shadow like this. Like, where do you put this? I guess I'll just have to keep this plastic thing so that because I don't have like spare palettes lying around. I guess I could use this for blush. I don't know why I got this. Maybe it was a free thing? I don't know where my mind was. Oh no, it doesn't know. Because when I bought this, I was very much in deep stress, so. It's just like a blushy. Ooh, ugh, I put it on the worst possible place. Can you see? Looks like a bruise. <laughs> it's just like a rusty rose color. Oh my gosh, my hair is dying because it's so hot in here. <gasps> We're down to the last. Oh no. Okay, this is the Pressed Powder Palette 2 Hot. Oat. Hot. Anyway, the colors are. <laughs> the 
colors are lol no 2 a.m the ivy flirt and west end so it'll be like going this way <gasps> Oh my gosh, I didn't remember buying this, but now I do. Oh my gosh, she's so pretty. Oh, it says the shade names on here. Okay, so um, I'm gonna swatch them all and then I'll list, I'll put the names. So beautiful. Actually, I'm gonna take a pic of this before I ruin the little print on it. It's very mean, girls. I hope this stains my arm. Um, I think I got this just because I wanted to try new colors and I don't really have pink shadows so yeah this also has some resistance okay so from top to bottom oh man I put it in a bad place again okay so from here to here we have lol no 2 a.m. the ivy flirt and west end yeah um, I'm really bad at swatching apparently but yeah, I guess this is the end of the video. Um, I'm planning to make a lot more videos, but right now I'm very like focused on TikTok. It's been pretty fun. Never thought I would say that, but go follow me on there as well as IG. And yeah, see y'all in the next video. Let me know what you want to see. Okay, so I guess this is the end and yeah, I'll see y'all in the next video.